So this, this now is incredibly important. Again, Cyclone Publisher Family Updates. So a lot of you are, are already pushing data out into other consuming packages. So where does that uh, publishing step sit? So the publishing step sits, or the license resides in Registry 60, Registry 60 BLK Edition or Cyclone Core, and then it allows you to push data out into these other locations. Um, in particular, you know, in this one, you know, out to Jetstream data set, Jetstream Enterprise, out to TrueView Cloud or TrueView Enterprise, and out into formats which can be read into Cloudworks, uh, such as LGS or Jetstream. Um, so this is what we're going to cover now. We're going to talk about Publisher and Publisher Pro and the new publisher landscape that you need to understand as uh, as we go forward. Um, okay, so. The Leica Cyclone Publisher family is being simplified. That's all you really need to know. So in the past, we had product-specific publishers, which meant if you wanted to publish TrueView, use TrueView Publisher. If you wanted to do Jetstream, Jetstream Publisher. Publisher Pro is kind of an amalgamation with the addition of uh, Panoramic Export, RCP, and LGS. That's now changing. Okay, so now we will, we will move to content-based publishing using Publisher and Publisher Pro only, okay? Um, and I'm gonna explain now effectively what that difference means to you and a migration path for you um, as you move forward. So Publisher Pro, uh, sorry, Publisher, we want seamless consumption of, the, of our Leica reality capture data. We have one publisher in two sizes, so obviously you know, standard and pro, um, and we want to move towards this complete project in a single simple file. And what I mean by that, and what I've been talking about on LinkedIn and social media over the past few weeks in the run up to this session, is our LGS format file, which we're now gonna talk a little bit about what that contains, how we make them, and where it can be consumed. So an LGS file is this single file, singular file. It contains all the project sitemaps and metadata. It contains all the point cloud information and any metadata all the geotags and assets um, for any project within that LGS file, um, all the setup information, so all the panoramic imagery, all the HDR imagery, um, and also any project metadata itself. So simple, you know, it's got the registration report in there, for example, it's got uh, the project owner, um, a thumbnail related to the project. So the LGS file is a single source of truth that you can hand around to uh, anyone else you can password protect it as well um, you can even load an lgs back to a jetstream enterprise server if you want to but it's um, a very very important file to us um, and it will make sense when you start seeing what nathan is going to do with that file as well um, so an lgs file can be consumed in a number of places we can read an lgs file back into cyclone so if you want to move data very very quickly um, across you know different continents or offices you can send an lgs file you can open up the lgs file in a variety um, of different um, software packages uh, so for cloudworks uh, supported ones jetstream enterprise i said you can load the lgs back but we can load an LGS file to TrueView Enterprise. We can load an LGS file into TrueView Cloud, and it will take all the panoramic imagery in both those examples and all the measurement information and all the asset information and allow you to, um, to see those within that environment. And you can also, fundamentally, we have this free of charge Jetstream viewer, and the LGS file can be opened up in there. We're going we're gonna to look at that very, very shortly. Um, so this video here, um, when this plays, um, this is um, Infinity. So Infinity is our survey processing package. Um, so where you've got GPS, you've got total station data, maybe you've got UAV data with the ABOT, you can do all your post-processing with Infinity. And what we've added in the last release now, because obviously this supports point clouds from the, maybe the MS-60 multi-station, maybe you've created point clouds from your, um, uh, your UAV data, that data can now be exported using the publisher license from Infinity, and that data can then be used in exactly the same way um, as the LGS data published from anywhere else. This becomes a universal file type for Leica like Geosystems that can be utilized across uh, our, our suite of products and different, different parts of our business as well. So here you can see the point cloud loaded up in Jetstream Viewer, and then that same LGS file opened up directly, this in, in this instance, in BricsCAD Ultimate. Um, so that this is really just to highlight the fact that with the interconnectedness between the all, all the different elements of the Leica Geosystem suites. So if you have Infinity, uh, you have an up-to-date version and you want to get access to publishing um, LGS files um, out to be consumed elsewhere, contact us and uh, you'll need a publisher license in conjunction to be able to do that. But I think that's a really good step forward. 
So what can you do with each of the publisher and the publisher pro licenses? That's this slide is designed for you know, almost to take a snapshot when it's all finished with so that you can understand the key differences between them. So this is Cyclone Publisher. We can push out RCP files, LGS, E57 and other standard formats. And you can push out TrueView Local. You can push out data to TrueView Enterprise if you have a TrueView Enterprise server, Jetstream and all the geotag and asset information. So that's the content um, that you can push from there. Now, what you then hopefully will realize is there is a lot more bubbles around the uh, around Publisher Pro. So in addition to all of that, you can publish the selected setups. You can export by limit box. Uh, you can separately export all the panoramic imagery, um, the, the HDR imagery as you know, high resolution panoramas, 5K panoramas. You can push out LAS files and also all future development around publishing will be centered around Publisher Pro. Um, and, and that will become apparent uh, a little bit later as you wait for our one more or two more thing at the end of the presentation. So that is, is designed for you to make a decision as to which of the publishers uh, you need. And I should note that we've completely looked at the pricing of both of these. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised in terms of where both of these come in, in terms of pricing in your local region. So talk to your local sales team to get information around Publisher Pro. So um, obviously we have Cyclone Publish, that's a brand new license type, and uh, so there's no migration. But if you have, and this, this is vitally important for you, if you already have Publisher, Pub, TrueView Publisher, Jetstream Publisher, or Publisher Pro, and you're under current CCP, you will be migrated to Publisher Pro free of charge. Okay, so this just highlights the fact that if you're under CCP, then you, will, you, you can move across. So if you have a TrueView Publisher and a Jetstream Publisher, we will actually, you'll actually end up with two Publisher Pros. Um, so this is just really important for you to take away from the presentation today. And what I should say as well is we've now made sure within Register 360 that that publisher license uh, and publisher pro license is only being utilized when you're utilizing it, when you're actually at the publishing stage, before it was consumed when the package was open. This means you can move that publisher license into onto different PCs or different um, suites. So you might have Reg, Reg 360 on one and register on another, and you can use Publisher Pro um, without being tied to that one software. But that is a really interesting point and exciting point, I think, for any of you guys out there who've got publishers who want to access the features and functionality of Publisher Pro. And when we start rolling out all the, all the roadmap stuff that's coming for Publisher Pro as well, it's going to become an even more exciting proposition.